Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. So today's video, guys, I want to show you how to add a Windows Server 2012 domain controller to an existing Windows Server 2003 network. Now I know some of you guys are still running at the directory on a Server 2003 box, so this video is for you. So let's get started. So I got two virtual machines. One virtual machine BJ 2003, another one is BJ 2012. Okay and uh, this one is already set up for Active Directory so it's good to go but before we even start um, running the role to convert Server 2012 to a domain controller so we can add it to our existing forest we need to make sure 2003 is in a correct functional level so open up your Active Directory users and computers right click on your domain node and raise the domain functional now you gotta make sure that you are up to Windows Server 2003 or later uh, if you have something of 2000 if you have Windows Server 2000 mix it won't work it needs to be uh, raised to Windows Server 2003 now you also need to go into your Active Directory domain and trust and right click on here you need to raise the forest functional level as well I'm going to raise it to server 2003. Yes, I know that. All right. That's great. So, let's uh let's see. Let me open this up. And let me right click on here, go to properties. As you see, my functional level is 2003, my forest and my domain are both server 2003. Now, I am ready to add my server 2012 machine into my existing domain so I'm gonna to go to manage add roles and features I'm gonna hit next hit next on this automatically is gonna select the server so that's the one I want I wanna do active directory and services add the features that it recommends hit next hit next hit next check to restart the destination server automatically required hit yes install and we're back normally the installation takes a while but when you get to this point with server 2012 just click on promote the server to a domain controller get a nice little wizard and you want to enter the domain that you want to add this domain controller to uh, I'm gonna give it a uh, credentials And once the credentials are in, let's press OK. Hit next. And if everything goes well, my server 2012 should automatically start talking to my server 2003. Awesome. When you get to this step, that means your server 2012 machine is talking to your uh your domain controller, your 2003 domain controller, which is great. If it doesn't, that means you haven't uh you haven't raised the level on your forest or domain. You make you gotta make sure you do that. So I am going to set a password for this. Make sure you confirm it. Hit next. Hit next on this. And not any domain it has to be my BJ2003. So that means it's good. Hit next. Hit next. And before I even hit next, let's go into my 2003. Active Directory users and computers, and I want to show you guys. I want to go into my domain controls. As you can see, I don't have that domain controller in there. I'm also going to refresh and go back here. Hit next. Hit next. And it's going to do its final check or preparation for the Active Directory. It's verifying everything, making sure everything is okay, and it's hit next. I mean, install. We are back. Once the installation of Active Directory is completed on your Windows Server 2012, most likely it's going to reboot itself. So let's log in. Let's send a Control Alt Delete, and it looks like we're good. I'm going to log in, and I'm also going to go into my Server 2012 machine. Going to refresh this domain controller container, and there we go. BJ 2012 awesome this is pretty exciting now about it guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this video on adding 
uh, Windows Server 2012 domain controller to an existing Windows Server 2003 network. Uh, please leave comments below. Please subscribe. Uh, please check out the description part of this video. I do have full details of all my locations of where you can find me and where you can get all my notes and all the goodies from all my videos. Uh, catch you guys later. Peace out.